Hello, welcome back. I'm Shalvin. So we are going to inspect the page model in detail. In the text box example, when I added a new project, new file, I selected place code in subred file. As a result of that, I'm getting textbox.aspx and textbox.aspx.cs file. This file is having the full code and this file is having the whole visual interface. Now I'm going to add one more page. Let's say add new item. This is going to be the list box. This time I am not checking this option, place code in separate file. So in effect I will be getting an inline model. And here a new thing called script runner tisle server is coming. That was not there in this file because the whole code was present in another file. But here there's a script runner digital server file as well as the visual interface. So here I'm adding the list box. Students. And also the label. Sorry, list box. And I'm going to the items collection. Add. Add. Divu. This. Other students in your batch. Let's run it. So I'm getting the whole thing. So instead of writing the code in a separate file, it's written, getting written in the same file itself, but in a section called script. This is called inline model. Okay, we'll resume with the example. So it's working fine till here. What if I'm placing a button? So we are going to see a concept called post back. Which you already saw in uh, command button example, but I didn't explain that. I'm giving a good name called add. I'm not writing any code. So when I click on this button, a process called pushback is happening. It is sending the whole data to the web server. So if you look, notice in the status bar, you can see that post back happening. But there's a side effect. Those code you written, wrote in the lot event, it is getting duplicated. Because after the post back, the lot event is again getting invoked. So we want to overcome that functionality. So I'm coming and writing one code. If not, is post back. So this will be executing only once. It won't be executed as a part of postback. So this code will appear only once. So that problem is over. So I'm going to add a new student. adding a text box. Oh, 
we will have new student xbox instead of txt new student a new notation that microsoft is trying to promote and this is a better uh, naming convention as far as generating the code is concerned for example you have a utility whereby you might be selecting the database in the next uh, tab you might be selecting the table and the fields and the like and based on that if you want the user interface to be get generated and the code to be get generated that this uh, hunger notation is a bit more better than the hunger notation and in fact microsoft is generating code for a lot of controls like form view and all and it's possible to copy the interface so in those interface it is creating this notation it is creating the controls with this notation so better get used to this notation so here i'm going to add the contents of text box to the list box new student text box dot text and after that i can blank the control I can bring the back focus back to the text box. And I'm running it. Why should I blank the control? What if I didn't blank the control? The value will be retained. So the value is retained. Isn't it a new functionality as far as web is concerned? For example, go to the Yahoo page, type few values, just press the submit button. It will be making a post back and coming back, and all the text box will be blank. Because HTTP is inherently a stateless protocol. But here it is not the case. After the post back, also it is retaining the value of the text box, just like in the Windows Forms application. How they are accomplishing this task? It is having something called view state, which is nothing but an input type is equal to text. Sorry, input type is equal to hidden. And it is encrypting the value and in the pre init event it is repopulating the value back into the text box. And the value is encrypted so that the issue of hacking doesn't arise. So that's the reason why it's retaining the value. Anyway, it's beyond the scope of this example. More of on that we'll see afterwards. So that's why I'm blanking the text box. So again, add values. So I'm adding values onto the this box by taking value from the text box. Thank you.